Indianapolis public schools don't offer the same sports opportunity for girls as it does for boys. Now, that's the finding of a federal investigation that finds the district violated Title IX. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live outside of Shortridge High School with the latest details on this story for and us. And IPS this isn't disputing those violations. Instead, it says it's working to correct them. The investigation by the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights finds that IPS violated Title IX by denying female students equal opportunity to play high school sports. I'm dismayed every time I find a, a district that has not been offering equal access to girls and to boys, but the, the main issue here is that the district has agreed to correct its practices moving forward and to increase opportunities so that there will be as many as 445 new athletic opportunities to girls going forward. And, and that's just huge progress that we're really excited about. The Department of Education says that IPS agreed to increase sports opportunities for high school girls, improve the athletic facilities, equipment and supplies, and better scheduling of games and practice times. The Department of Education said that for the 2010 through 11 school year, IPS had roughly 5,500 students at its high schools, half male and half female. However, while 65% of the boys played sports, only 35% of the girls did. Do you offer the same uh, opportunities for locker The Indiana rooms? High School Athletic Association has a gender equity position statement, and while it doesn't have the authority to interpret or rule on compliance of Title IX, officials say schools have an obligation to provide equal opportunities in sports. Gender equity is about opportunities. Um, we want schools to offer uh, those opportunities so that we can have every girl that wants to participate, every boy that wants to participate in athletics that has the chance to do that, we want them to have that opportunity. IPS said late today that the Department of Education's findings are valid and that it's responding to meet the needs of students. And IPS said late today that it's working with its students and staff to correct these gender disparities and that they will start doing that right away. Reporting live at Shortridge, Chris Profit, RTV6.